Hello and welcome, my name is Matthias Schwente. I would like to introduce you in the next few minutes into a new way of thinking, into the meaning and noticing map. The intention of this video is to help you getting out of your head into your body. If you find yourself sometimes struggling, looping in your mind in or after a challenging emotional situation and like to find the way out, please stay tuned. The circle demonstrates a head from above, where this direction is demonstrating the front side. In this part of the brain is the working mind, where past and future is being processed as concept, where meaning and story, understanding things and context is created. Here is where we are identifying ourselves with our thoughts. Well, I think you know what I mean. Here in the middle is the limbic system, this is where emotions and feelings getting processed. The roots of it are very animalistic, to detect danger in the fight-flight center, the amygdala. Here is nothing to fix or to repair. It just releases four times a second cortisol and adrenaline into the nervous system to scan our environment. It's good to have it sometimes. When something is getting triggered here, our working mind can get reminded to old story and a memory of unpleasant emotions, where the working mind is trying to work out and to repair the situation to get rid of the so-called bad emotions. Unfortunately, the working mind is not connected to the amygdala and the story starts speeding up, looping, and it can get really stressful where anxiety or sometimes real panic can occur, till the point we are getting really overwhelmed and the reptilian brain is starting to get activated with its own survival mechanism to freeze, shut down and getting numb. That's where we can think ourselves into real trouble or where we can't think ourselves out of trouble. This is where the noticing brain is providing help and the solution for liberation by noticing simply what we notice. Because the noticing brain is connected to the working brain to the limbic brain, where we feel, and the reptilian brain, where we shut down. When we allow to notice what we notice, we create allowance and awareness for what is. With different mindful practices like meditation or hugging somebody and body contact, being listened to, and in particular feeling an object with our hands, connecting with pleasure in releasing oxytocin into our body. This oxytocin is blocking the release of cortisol and adrenaline into our bloodstream and that allows the body to calm down and relax back into expansion and being now. I hope you feel inspired and enjoyed watching this video. And on a little side note, three minutes of practicing feeling an object a day is worth one hour of watching the best video. And the best meditation to stay calm is just to let your skin do the work that the working brain can't do. Please comment and ask questions in the section below. And for more information, please visit www.somaticconsent.com. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a beautiful day. Goodbye.